Hello, I am Seamus Dunhu of EVE University, and this is episode 24 of How to Survive EVE Online. Let's get started on the next step of the military chain. Uh, Neocom, Journal, Agents, Missions, right-click the mission offer, start conversation. And our agent wants us to eliminate some pirates and rescue a civilian miner they are holding as captive. Alright, so, click accept. And let's get this. Let me right click my Navitas and make that active just so that I ha actually have the frigate that has the weapons. And I'm opening wrong windows all over the place. Okay. Yep, everything looks good here. Let's undock. Right-click empty space, agent missions, cache full for capsuleers, encounter dead space, warp to location. Warp drive active. And I don't need my cargo hold open, and I forgot to drop my loot off at the station before leaving. Oh well, not a big concern. I don't think I'm going to get blown up on this mission. Alright. There are the enemies. Let's click one and approach. And let's activate the afterburner. Oh, by the way, your game by default will target locks anything that target locks you, but there are situations where that's bad, so hit escape, go to general settings, auto target back, zero targets. I only remembered to talk about that just now. But you probably don't may not want to do that in combat. Let's lock up the other two targets. Continue approaching the nearest of them. And I will cut the afterburner. And take a shot. Let me approach the other one. I'm using F1 to turn on and turn off the guns as needed. Alright, I'm going to right-click this bookmark location, click OK, because I will come back after the mission and salvage everything. Left-click a the last enemy, approach, option F1 to turn on my afterburner, option F1 or Alt F1, depending upon whether you're Mac or Windows, and option F1 again to turn off the afterburner. And two kilometers. Control left click the next two enemies that just showed up. Click approach. Hit the afterburner. I've still got 193 rounds in my blasters, so I don't have to worry about reloading them anytime soon. Not at the rate at which I'm using ammunition. I may have... which one am I approaching? Alright, I think I'm approaching that one. I'll wait for him to come to me. His angular velocity is below 0.3. And he goes boom. There's the cargo container. Left click the cargo container, we're within two and a half kilometers, open the cargo, open your own cargo holds, grab the civilian, bring him in. 
Left click the station, dock. Warp drive active. And we may as well hit Control R to reload the weapons. Hmm. Didn't the agent give me 2,000 rounds of antimatter charge? Yes. Maybe I left them in station. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Alright, now that I am back in station, I'm going to drop off the civilian shield booster and the civilian. Talk to Seville Aaron. And everything's green check marks, so I will complete the mission. And he gives you a unit of motion prediction skill book. Ah, there it is. Can we inject this right now? Yes, we meet the prerequisites. So right click and train that now to level one. Yes, we want to switch to skill training. And this helps with weapon turret tracking speeds. So your weapons will track faster just because you have that skill. Let me go to my skill queue. I think I want a two levels in that actually. Uh, but if I do that, that's going to push Galente Frigate off. Well, I'll be logging on on a regular basis anyway, so I will update the skill queue before it expires. I will click apply, and I will close the window. Alright, I am going to go head out and salvage. In the meantime, I'm going to stop the episode here, and in the next episode we will handle the next uh, step of the military chain. Uh, thank you for watching.